Kent Spitfires pulled off a remarkable five-wicket win with four balls to spare over Hampshire at the Aegeus Bowl. The visitors' second win from two with Alex Blake's brilliant 30-ball 71 leading the charge with Sam Northeast also playing a crucial role. Batting first after winning the toss, Michael Carberry got the home side off to the perfect start as he came out of the blocks quicker than Usain Bolt, smashing Darren Stevens for two sixes in the first over off deliveries number four and five of the match. That had everybody in the ground on their feet early. What appeared to be an excellent batting surface, James Vince was also soon finding the rope. Three fours coming off Mitch Claydon's first over as 32 runs were struck off the game's first 13 balls. David Griffiths replaced Stevens and struck with his second ball, Carberry having made 20 off seven, hitting his eighth delivery to Joe Denley at long leg. Adam Riley was brought on inside the power play and immediately bowled Jimmy Adams for a single, he leaving with his team on 41 for two in the fifth over. Owe Shah came in and swept his first ball for four before Vince attacked Matt Coles with three more boundaries in an over, which took the home side to a score of 61 for two at the end of the six overs of power play, pretty much the standard in this season's competition so far. But five overs then passed by without a single boundary, Fabian Cowdery and Stevens providing the squeeze until Vince decided enough was enough. His ninth four off his 39th delivery took him to his 50, and he then looked set to go nuts as Riley's return to the action was severely punished. The next two balls were both hit into the distance by Vince, who made the most of the length offered to get down on one knee to clear the rope with ease. After these two maximums, another four followed as 20 runs were hit off only four deliveries to concern Kent, who had been fighting back well. Vince had by now decided to go after every ball. The match's 12th over read 4-6-6-4 and then a wicket, as this time the Hampshire skipper failed to clear the rope finding Denley in the deep instead to go for 66. With eight overs to go, Hampshire got to 104 for three, but they didn't go quite as well as they would have hoped for from that stage. Sean Irving got a regulation nick behind off Griffiths. Shaw hold out to Denley off Stevens after making a runner ball 26. And after Adam Wheater entertained for 20 minutes in hitting 36 off only 18 balls, he fell trying something funky, bowled by Clayden with 10 balls of the innings remaining. Will Smith found the boundary in the last over as Hampshire settled for a 20 over total of 172 for six, one they would have been pleased with even though it may have been better at one point. It looks as if it might be too many for the Spitfires who lost Daniel Bell Drummond to the fourth ball of the reply, Smith holding on at the second attempt of his own bowling. In form, Denley struck the first six of the response, Chris Wood being pulled over mid-wicket before the former Middlesex player took 18 runs off the third over delivered by Fidel Edwards. But a half drive to cover after making 26 gave Danny Briggs the 99th wicket of his domestic T20 career. Kent had to make do with a score of 50 for two from their six overs of power play. The total slowly moved on to 65 as the last ball of the ninth over saw Sam Billings run out courtesy of some very quick thinking behind the stumps from Wheater. The keeper was in action again four balls later as Stevens came down the wicket and was stumped off Smith for three. And when Cowdery was trapped in front to give the spinner his third wicket, the Spitfires were in trouble on 70 for five at the halfway stage of their innings. Another 103 runs to be found of the last 10 overs. Northeast and Blake now had to play themselves in for a few balls, this four taking the target down to 76, but with only six overs to go. But then Blake took over, this the first of his six huge sixes, as he quickly turned this game on its head. In fact, he was to hit a maximum in each of the last six overs to ensure that his side never fell too far behind the run rate required, which was already a pretty tough one. With Northeast playing his role superbly at one end, making a 50 off 41 balls, Blake was able to make the best score of his T20 career. From needing 42 off the last four overs, then 32 off three and 19 off two, Blake struck six number five to just about make this game his team's. His own half century, his third in this competition, coming off only 25 balls. Whatever had been bowled at the left-hander, the end result was pretty much the same. So just five runs were wanted off the final over for a second win in succession for the Spitfires. The first ball saw Blake level the scores, and then what else but a six finished things off? It had been an astonishing knock from Blake, 
Here North East putting on 108 in 9 overs and 2 balls. North East ending on 60 for 49 and Blake 71 off only 30. It meant a 5 wicket win for the visitors. Hampshire somewhat shell-shocked as they left the field. They now head to Cardiff to meet Glamorgan next week. While Kent, now top of the South group, go to Beckenham for a championship game and then a T20 match on Friday. Surrey are the visitors for both.